Welcome to the spoken tutorial on data transfer between user and kernel space. In this tutorial, we will learn how to copy the data from the kernel space to the user space and user space to the kernel space. To record this tutorial, I am using VirtualBox version 5.2 Ubuntu Linux 18.04 LTS operating system, Linux kernel version 5.0.0-31 generic, gedit text editor. To follow this tutorial, you should be familiar with C programming language and basics of Linux kernel. If not, then go through the C C++ and Linux Spoken Tutorials on this website. Go to the Device Driver folder in the desktop, which we have created earlier. In this directory, I have created a directory named Data Transfer. Here, I have saved a simple underscore driver dot C driver file, make file and user hyphen read hyphen write dot c file. I will use these files for demonstration. The files used in this tutorial are available in the code files link on this tutorial page. Please download and extract them. Make a copy and then use them while practicing. Open the terminal by pressing Alt, Ctrl and T keys simultaneously. Go to the directory where data transfer is saved in your system. Press Enter key after every command. Type gedit space simple underscore driver dot c. I have used the same file simple underscore driver dot c which we used earlier. We have to include the uaccess.h kernel header file. It contains the read and write functions declarations. These are used to transfer the data between user space and kernel space. We have to add the protocols of read and write functions as shown here. Let us add the read and write functions in the file underscore operation structure. Now, let us see the write function which can be used to write data to a device. The write function is used to send data to the device. BUFF represents the user space data buffer. LEN specifies the size of the requested data transfer. LOFF indicates the start position from which data should be written in the file. The return value is the number of bytes written. I have defined the write function as shown here. Let us see the kernel specialized function to transfer the data. The copy underscore from underscore user function copies block of data from user to the kernel space. To specify the destination address in the kernel space. From specifies the source address in the user space. N specifies the number of bytes to copy. On failure, it returns a number of bytes that could not be copied. It will return 0 on success. Now, check whether the user data size is greater than the kernel buffer or not. If it is more, then this error message will print with the termination of a program. Otherwise, it will copy the LEN bytes of data of user buffer BUFF to the kernel buffer PTR. 
the copy underscore from underscore user also checks whether the user pointer buff is valid or not. If it is invalid, it will not copy the data and returns the e-fault error. Depending upon its success or failure, the corresponding messages will be printed. Now, let us see the read function which can be used by users to read the data from a device. The read function is used to read the data from the device file. BUFF specifies the pointer to buffer from the user space. LEN specifies the size of the requested transfer. LOFF indicates the start position from which data should be read. The return value is the number of bytes read. I have defined the read function as shown here. Now, let us see the kernel specialized function to transfer data. Copy underscore to underscore user function copies a block of data from a kernel buffer into user space. Two specifies the destination address in the user space. From specifies the source address in the kernel space. N specifies the number of bytes to copy. On failure, it returns a number of bytes that could not be copied. It will return 0 on success. It will copy the LEN bytes of the data from kernel buffer PTR to the user buffer PUFF. The copy underscore to underscore user also checks the validity of the user pointer. Depending upon its success or failure, the corresponding messages will be printed. Using these functions, the driver can access the user space buffer in a safe way. Save and close the file. Switch back to the terminal. Clear the screen. To be a super user, type sudo space su. Now type the system password. To compile the driver, we have to create a make file. Type gedit space make file. Type the code as shown here or you can use the downloaded make file. Save and close the file. Switch back to the terminal. Now, let us write a user program to write and read data from a device. Type gedit space user hyphen read hyphen write dot c. I have already created a user program. It will open, close, read and write data to the new underscore device by its driver. Here, I have defined the user data pointer which points to the string Linux device driver. We will write and read the string from a device using respective system calls. After opening a device, the write system call is used to write the data to it. It will write the string of length data size to a device as shown here. When it executes, the kernel internally calls a write function from the driver. Similarly, the read system call will read the data from a device. It will read the data from a device and store it in the kernel data as shown here. When it executes, the kernel internally calls read function from the driver. Save and close the file. Switch back to the terminal. Clear the screen. Let's compile the driver. 
type make space all. Clear the screen. Now load the driver into the kernel. Type in smooth space simple underscore driver dot ko. Let's see the loaded print key messages. Type d message space pipe space grep space simple underscore driver. Here you can see the device. Its class were created successfully. Clear the screen. Now compile the user program. Type gcc space hyphen c space user hyphen read hyphen write dot c. Then type the command as shown here. Now let us execute the user program. Type dot slash user. We can see the data write and data read message from the device successfully. Clear the screen. Type d message space pipe space grep space simple underscore driver. This shows that the kernel called the write and read functions from the driver. Clear the screen. Now let's unload the driver. Type rmmod space simple underscore driver dot ko. To see the unloaded print k messages, type this dmesg command. It shows that the struct CDEV device file, its class are removed from the system. The device is also unregistered here. With this, we come to the end of this tutorial. Let us summarize. In this tutorial, we learned how to copy the data from kernel space to the user space user space to the kernel space. As an assignment, change the user data string in the user hyphen read hyphen write dot c program. Load the driver into the kernel and execute the user program. See the output using dmesg command. Unload the driver from the kernel. The video at the following link summarizes the Spoken Tutorial project. Please download and watch it. The Spoken Tutorial project team conducts workshops and gives certificates. For more details, please write to us. Please post your timed queries in this forum. Do you have any general or technical questions on embedded Linux device driver? Please visit the FOSI forum and post your question. The Spoken Tutorial Project is funded by MHRD Government of India. This tutorial has been contributed by FOSI and Spoken Tutorial Project, IIT Bombay. This is Usha signing off. Thanks for watching.